Well, following a heartbreaking uh, loss out on the road uh, back on Friday, the Boise men's basketball team back at home in the friendly confines of Extra Mile Arena have treated the Broncos well this season. Season 8-1, and one, their lone loss coming in the season opener. Tonight, they would host Fresno. Yeah, and it got a little bit close for comfort on this one. Not the prettiest game, but hey, in the end, it doesn't necessarily yeah. have to be. Let's get to these highlights here. Boise said again, back at home, taking on Fresno State. The Bulldogs, uh, as Brady just said, got off to a great start, a 7-0 run. Boise State didn't score a single point for almost five minutes in this game. Eduardo Andre giving them trouble early on down low. Look at that finish on the alley-oop. Well, the Broncos would regroup after a cold start shooting. Tyson Dagenhart gets them on the board with the post hook. Boise State, now they had a bit of an issue. A C Season high 15 turnovers in the first half alone. Max Rice with an uncharacteristic seven in the game. But he made up for it with plays like that. Look at the pump fake for the three off the fast break. Yeah, definitely didn't rattle his confidence. The Broncos have put together an 8-0 run. Final shot of the half. Of course, it's got to go to Marcus Shaver Jr. Hits the turnaround mid-range, and they only trailed by two points heading into the second half. We pick it up there in the second half. The closing minutes of the game. How about Chabuzo Abo starting to find his rhythm? He hits the three on the turnaround, and then, uh, well, another three right here from straight out. Well, the Broncos would get some breathing room with that one, but the dagger in this game would come from Max Rice. Shaver Jr. on the driving kick, gets it back. He gets the straightaway shot. Head coach Leon Rice says that is his favorite place to shoot from. So despite a season high 19 turnovers, the Broncos would be able to regroup and take care of business. A 63-53 win. Shaver led the Broncos with 16 points. Rice and Dagenhart each adding 13 on the night. But now they look ahead to Colorado State. And you were just talking about, you know, Mountain West is really good this year. You know, people are asking us before games, um, you know, what's Fresno State going to do tonight? And you got to explain to them that it's the Mountain West and everybody's good. And we could have lost tonight, but we, we accomplished the mission. We were 1-0. Yeah, I think um, that's a big step from last year. Even, like, people always would talk about our defense last year. And I think that kept us in the game. If we weren't guarding like that, it would it would have been really bad for us and, and would have been a resume killer. But. Um, uh, we, we overpowered them in the second half, and, and I don't know how many points they scored, but I think it was around 20. So uh, defense won us the game in this one for sure. So with turnovers being a problem in the first half, head coach Leon Rice put the ball in the hands of his senior point guard, Marcus Shaver Jr. in the second half. Shave finished with 16 points tonight. That's the most he's had in a game since he scored 22 at Nevada back on December 22nd. Shave was also a perfect eight of eight at the free throw line. He pulled down six rebounds to go along with four assists too. According to head coach Leon Rice, Shaver is getting closer and closer to being 100% again. You know, I told him his injury was a gift. It, it it yeah it sounds crazy but because it slowed him down you know he plays at such a speed and you look at all those fouls that he got he went fast to slow so we're working on that that's the cool thing about having a guy like Marcus I mean he's a senior who still wants to get a lot better and he's I loved his tempo I loved the way he played tonight because they're a hard team to play point guard against no doubt about it my biggest takeaway from the game tonight, Boise State was far from their A game, mm -hmm. but they were still able to come up with a double-digit yeah. victory. And at, the end, points, yeah. at the end of the day, it's all about stacking wins and not hurting your March Madness resume. They successfully navigated that tonight. Well, you were paying attention to this game, and then we've got San Diego State mm -hmm. still to come, so those yeah. were the big two. How was turnout tonight, though? It was, it was okay for a Tuesday night. You know, It's what? always better on Saturday, but yeah. I, yeah. it's a respectable amount of people on a Tuesday night. Definitely could get more, though. Yeah. Okay. Did you hear that, guys? Go get more. <laughs> See you Saturday. Yeah, no pressure. Okay.